Hey traders, Gavin McMaster here from Options Trading IQ doing a video collaboration with Bar Chart. And today you're going to learn how to unlock the power of gamma exposure to boost your options trading. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that everything discussed is for educational purposes only, is general in nature and does not take into account your financial circumstances. So Bar Chart recently released three new charts that can be helpful for option traders. They are the expected move, gamma exposure and volatility term structure, some really cool new features. These charts are available for all members. However, customization on the gamma exposure and volatility term structure charts are available only for Bar Chart Premier members. In this video, we'll break down the new gamma exposure chart. First, a quick lesson on gamma. So gamma is a measure of how much an options delta changes with a $1 move in the underlying stock price. Think of delta as the speed at which the option price changes, while gamma represents the acceleration of that change. For example, if an option has a delta of 0.5 and a gamma of 0.1, a $1 increase in the underlying stock price would increase the delta from 0.5 to 0.6. Long options always have positive gamma and short options have negative gamma. Positive gamma positions benefit from large price moves, while negative gamma positions benefit from small price moves. And that's all well and good, but why is gamma important? Well, we can get something called a gamma squeeze, and some of you may remember this from back in 2021, which was the GameStop gamma squeeze, and it was one of the most dramatic events in recent stock market history. As retail traders bought large quantities of out-of-the-money call options, market makers had to hedge their risk by buying shares of GameStop. As call buying increased, market makers had to purchase even more shares to maintain their hedge, creating a feedback loop that drove the stock 1,700% higher at its peak. And you can see that pretty dramatic move there on the chart. Anyone that was trading during that time uh, will remember that very well. It was a crazy, crazy time. This gamma squeeze led to significant losses for hedge funds with short positions, particularly Melvin Capital, which required a multi-billion dollar bailout. We can now monitor gamma exposure for any stock on barchart.com and potentially spot situations like this before they occur. Gamma exposure, or GEX, highlights important price levels where there is significant gamma based on market positioning and open interest. These elevated values reflect where market makers may need to hedge to mitigate their risk, offering important levels of support and resistance. Gamma exposure levels are always positive for call options and negative for put options. They're generally the highest around the price of the underlying when the option contract is closer to expiration. And you can see that here, we've got an example of Amazon and we've got some positive gamma at the 185, 190, 195 strikes all around the near the money and on the main five point strikes. The gamma exposure by strike highlights strike prices across expiration dates with the highest gamma exposure. Net gamma exposure reflects the difference in call and put gamma for the strike across selected expiration dates. So you can see here we've got the positive gamma for calls in the blue and the negative gamma for the puts in yellow. And we can see here for Amazon that overall there's a lot of positive gamma. The blue bars are a lot bigger than the yellow bars. A positive GEX or gamma implies that market makers will hedge their positions resulting in low overall volatility by buying when the market drops and selling when the market rises. And negative GEX implies higher volatility as the market maker will need to sell when the market drops and buy when the market rises. So when we get negative gamma, or negative gamma exposure, we can get that feedback loop that we saw on GameStop where as the stock continues higher, the market makers have to keep buying the underlying stock to hedge. Likewise, if the stock drops, they need to keep selling to maintain their hedge. So it can create a feedback loop. Let's look at two current examples to illustrate the point. So here we're looking at the gamma exposure for Amazon. So just over at barchart.com, down here under options, we can go to gamma exposure. And we can see that there's a lot of positive gamma in Amazon at the moment. So that could mean two possible scenarios. We could see the price gravitate up towards the positive gamma at 190 or even 195, at which point the market makers will probably have to sell some shares to hedge which could mean that 190 and 195, they might be a bit of a magnet for the market, but then they're likely to provide a little bit of resistance as well as the market makers come in uh, and sell to maintain their, their hedge. 
On the second chart, we can see the combination of the call gamma and the put gamma. Again, overall positive gamma, the blue bars are bigger than the uh, yellow bars, except for this one little example here, 183, we've got slightly more yellow than blue, so slightly negative gamma at this strike. And you can also see that in the top chart where the 183 strike is pretty much the only one that has negative gamma. So overall, a lot of positive gamma on Amazon. So that means market makers are going to be buying as the stock drops, selling as the stock rallies, which can uh, result in a bit of range bound trading and a bit of a dampening in volatility. If we scroll further down, we can see similar information uh, based on the open interest. And then we can also see net total gamma by expiration dates. That's our total. And then there's the put and call combined in those ones. The other thing we can do here is we can change the number of strikes that we're looking at. At the moment, I'm just interested in the five closest strikes. We could do a much wider view. As you can see, there's not a lot in the far out of the money strike. So I like to just use the five strikes plus or minus. And then we can also add this expected move, which is quite helpful as well. And that's giving us the lower bounds of the expected move for the two expiration dates that we're looking at, which is October 18th and October 25th. So that can give us some really good information on the expected move to the downside and also the expected move to the upside here in purple. So based on this information, I think Amazon is going to be pretty low volatility over the next couple of weeks, fairly range bound trading. I think 190 could provide a little bit of a ceiling to the stock price. And if it does get up to 195, that could provide a bit of a ceiling as well. Some strong resistance at those levels based on the amount of positive gamma that we're seeing. Let's take a look at another stock that has got a different scenario. So Boeing is a little bit different to Amazon where we've got a lot of negative gamma, particularly on the downside, a little bit of positive gamma on the upside, but mostly negative gamma on the downside. Uh, we can see that here, big yellow bars, so a lot of put exposure, a lot of put gamma, negative gamma exposure. So we learned a minute ago that if there's negative gamma exposure, that can create a bit of a feedback loop. So if Boeing starts to sell off, what could potentially happen is that market makers are going to have to sell the stock to maintain their hedge as the market is dropping. So we could see the selling uh, exacerbated a little bit if Boeing starts to sell off, it could really pick up steam pretty quickly because of that negative gamma. So if I was long Boeing, I'd probably want to be instituting some hedges via some long puts or some put spreads that will make money if Boeing does go into a pretty big spiral to the downside. So that'd be a, a good way to, or a good time to potentially hedge when you see a stock having a lot of negative gamma, because we know that if it does move to the downside, it could have a really, really quick move to the downside. Uh, also, if I was thinking about selling put options, if I didn't have any exposure to Boeing currently um, and I was looking at selling puts to maybe take some exposure, I'd want to just be a little bit careful because of that negative gamma. Um, rather than going naked, maybe I'd look at, uh, at doing a, a spread or a diagonal so that I've got a little bit of protection just in case we do get that um, really swift selling that really picks up steam really quickly. Gex theory suggests the underlying will tend to gravitate towards the call strikes with the highest gamma exposure which can act as a supply zone or resistance point with many participants wanting to sell. So that's what I think we're seeing with Amazon around that 190, 195 strike. Similarly, if they're put strikes with high exposure, they'll act as a demand zone or support point with many participants aiming to buy at those prices. Now that's for a stock with positive gamma exposure, whereas if we've got a stock like Boeing with negative gamma exposure, we could actually see exacerbated selling if it starts to get down to those levels. So when there's positive gamma, we'll often see prices stay within the zones based on the willingness of market participants to trade at those prices and the hedging that the market makers are going to be doing, basically buying when the stock drops, selling when the stock rallies. High gamma exposure levels imply that options will move faster in response to a change in the underlying price, which increases the risk for option sellers. So keep that in mind as well. Understanding gamma exposure is a handy tool for navigating the options market more effectively. Bar Chart's new gamma exposure charts can help you pinpoint important areas of support and resistance for a stock. And we can also keep an eye out for any stocks that might have negative gamma where they might get into a feedback loop either on the upside or the downside. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.